charges for allegedly shooting at policemen when they came to take away her daughter. The Department of Human Services had issued an order because she took her daughter off an anti-psychotic medication. Godbaldo denied ever firing a weapon. A judge dismissed the criminal charge yesterday, saying there was no evidence to support them in agreeing with Godbaldo's lawyers that child services order was invalid. Here to discuss this case is president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, Jacob Hornberger. Uh, Jacob, I almost don't know where to begin on with this. Uh, you know, first and foremost, the kid is on this anti-psychotic medication. The mother obviously doesn't want that to happen. Secondly, the police come and try to forcibly take away the child. Help us understand this case. Yeah, it's, it's, an act, it's a remarkable model of, of how a parent will react when the state is trying to do something that the parent thinks is harmful to the children. This woman refused to defer to authority. It's something that a lot of parents would never think about doing. The cops show up, they've got a court order uh, commanding the, the woman to relinquish her 13-year-old little girl for the purpose of injecting mind-altering drugs into this child. The mother says, no, I'm taking her off this junk. She's not going to go on it, and you're not going to take her away. And she barricades herself in her house, and she says the cops aren't going to do this. Well, the cops ultimately charge this woman with resisting arrest, firing a weapon at them, barricading in her house, and refusing to obey this court order. The thing goes to court, and it turns out the cops are there with an invalid court order. They didn't even have the judge's signature on the court order. They'd gotten the clerk to just stamp the judge's signature on it. The judge throws the charges out. Uh, he dismisses the gun charges, says she never fired a weapon at the police. But really, it's a model of how parents should not to defer to authority under any circumstances, but especially when your child's welfare is at stake. Uh, Jacob, it could also be a model for just how arrogant uh, government at all levels has become. And, and in, in many cases, the police are just following a lock, lockstep with this, just thinking, hey, I can get someone to stamp this. This woman probably doesn't know her rights. She'll probably hand over the kid, and we'll just have, a, you know, it'll be all in a day's work. Absolutely. I mean, th this is what goes on in totalitarian countries. This is what went on in the, in the former Soviet Union. This is what went on in fascist Italy. This is what goes on in Burma. The, the police operate effectively as thugs, and they're in there saying, we don't need to follow the law. We don't need to follow the procedures that are established by the law. We're going to just come over here and seize this child because we've got the guns. And this mother said, oh, no, you're not going to do that. And the other thing, you know, notice, Charles, that, you know, the government's been waging this 30-year-old failed war on drugs. Ahead of the Palestinian bid for statehood, Israeli West Bank settlers are putting teeth into their security with specially trained attack dogs. The dogs are trained to protect against armed intruders. Attack dogs of the West Bank. A Jewish settler group is training attack dogs and supplying them to Jewish settlements ahead of a planned Palestinian bid for statehood at the United Nations. In a video made by the Civilian Dog Handlers Battalion of Judea and Samaria, dogs are seen attacking a man in a simulated video. Trainer Mike Bizovsky says that in light of mass Palestinian protests scheduled to be held across the West Bank in Israel, Jewish settlers are worried for their safety. People are much more aware of the potential threat to them in their homes uh, throughout uh, Judea and Samaria and throughout Israel for that matter. And I think clearly the uh, events in September are uh, prompting more and more people to be concerned about their security. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part two, the final part for today, everyone. Um, please visit my website, that's ggnonline.com. It's ggnonline.com. Um, you can visit us on uh, Facebook. There's a Global Government News group. Um, the link will be posted in YouTube's video description along with all the headlines and links. Okay, so let's get going here. Um, I was going to play this video, but just for time's sake, because I have a lot to get to, since I'm only doing two videos today, I thought I would just uh, cut this short and just let you know, Libyans build memorial for martyrs, so young activists putting up wall to display names and faces of those who died to free country. 
um, are the names of the terrorists who killed uh, uh, loyalists uh, to a sovereign country, right? So either way, you can uh, you can go about it uh, whatever way you want. You can pick sides. You can not pick sides. You cannot give a shit. But either way, what's going on over there is just immorally uh, wrong. So it's immoral. And uh, so now, uh, after uh, this happened, uh, they put up a memorial. And I just want to make the point that uh, a lot of times after the powers that be um, uh, create uh, some kind of a false flag crisis or uh, some kind of a, they're filling an, out an agenda um, or they do a ritual sacrifice such as this uh, with uh, Martin Luther King or JFK, um, or the Indiana State Fair, or September 11th, which is a big blood sacrifice, um, they always put memorials. And it's funny because this one was actually made in China for MLK. Um, but it says here that it makes uh, MLK look arrogant. Uh, and if you look the way he stands, he's kind of standing with his arms crossed and all that. So what he says in, uh, in here uh, is actually, if you want to say that I was a drum major, say that I was a drum major for justice, King said. Uh, another quote, uh, say that I was a drum major for peace, I was a drum major for righteousness, and all the other shallow things will not matter. And this was a quote taken from the sermon King gave shortly before his death, where he imagined what his own eulogy would sound like to... Uh, uh, basically the world and what did they put on there I was a drum major for justice peace and righteousness and that's what they put on there so I, I don't even think that he would want that on there um, but either way it says here new fighting in Libya as Gaddafi loyalists refuse to surrender so they're refusing to surrender uh, and it says uh, to those who have forced him into hiding raising the prospect of new fighting in Libya when an ultimatum expires after this week's uh, an ultimatum I wonder what that means. Ground troops, more bombing, or what? Gaddafi will be victorious, and it goes in here, and he said, The colonial powers do not want Libyan people to communicate with each other and to have dialogue. That's why Libyans have been cut off uh, communication networks, or cut off two communication networks. They want us all to hear the colonial uh, voice, and they do not want us to raise our voice. Why are they afraid of communication if they are in full sway? If they do not want the voice of the truth to be heard, the embattled dictator added. And I was listening to a, a local news station um, in the Midwest, and it was saying uh, this journalist, uh, uh, field journalist, over there in Libya said that usually, um, lately, it's been uh, a lot of people will come up to them, uh, mostly um, uh, pro-rebels or pro-terrorists, whatever you want to call them, uh, pro-TNC, and uh, they'll usually come up to them all happy. Uh, they said that uh, lately, though, the last day or two, they've actually been getting pot shots at them, and people have just been cussing at them, and it's mostly uh, loyalists to Gaddafi. So there are people that uh, are support Gaddafi still. It says here, Libyan's uh, leader's son vows no surrender, to uh, rebels, that's uh, Saif al-Islam. He vowed on Wednesday to fight to the death, insisting no regime loyalists would surrender to the rebels who are closing in on Gaddafi's final strongholds. I think it's Saif. It says here, August, deadliest month for U.S. and Afghanistan, and it's also the least deadliest in, in Iraq, so it just goes to show you. Uh, it says here, report Israel sends two warships to Egyptian border. And it says military sources say Israeli Navy sent warships to maritime border with Egypt following intelligence indicating a viable terror, th terror threat. Meanwhile, Iran set to send 15th Fleet to the Red Sea as well to convoy message of peace and friendship to all countries. Uh, UN panel faults both sides and Gaza flotilla clash. So long-awaited UN report on Israeli raid on Gaza-bound ship. Uh, that killed nine Turkish civilians, declared uh, that Israel's naval blockade of the Gaza Strip was legal, but that the Jewish state used unreasonable force. Uh, Turkey threatens Israel with sanctions uh, over that uh, Gaza uh, report. It says here, Iran deploys warships to Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. So there you go, Gulf of Aden. That's the key buzz term. That's right around Somalia, where drones are going down. CIA is having operations, and uh, uh, eugenics operations are also going on. Uh, China ship with 22 labs spied on India. So India detected a Chinese spy ship disguised as a fishing trawler in the Indian Ocean a few months ago. So go in there and check that out. Moving on here, local fanatics plotting terror strikes as anniversary of September 11th attacks near. And I like what Gerald uh, Salente said in that video where he loses it on July 2nd. He said basically what? Oh, when they bomb us, don't complain, bitch, and moan about, oh, they're attacking us because we're so free. Um, no, they're attacking us because we're trying to take away their freedom, and we we ourselves are not free. So they're not going to attack us because they're free. They're going to attack us because we're a colonial power, and we're trying to strip other sovereign nations and other people's uh, way of life so uh, from them uh, by force and calling it humanitarian missions. So 
Um, okay, so, and this is also an ode to a false flag government-sponsored terrorist attack, of course, uh, supported by Israel. So, um, you know, they're just letting you know, get that fear imprinting, that mind control programming going. Uh, it says here, uh, inside the spy unit, that NYPD says doesn't exist. But look at this, the before NYPD confirms CIA officer works at department, this was on the 25th, so make up your own mind a little bit of double speak there new york police arrest muslims over hijab ban and then burka clad criminal stumps german police saying that it's uh, basically someone went over and started stealing things now i think this is actually a cop i think it's actually someone that's getting paid to do this by the government so that they can ban uh, uh burkas and hijabs and all that a uh, florida woman arrested for drawing picture of bomb on friend's bag at miami international airport and it gets crazier body scanners scrapped from german airports after air filed trial and it says uh, uh, basically, they were so inaccurate that the whole scheme has been scrapped. But uh, that's not uh, that's not why. That's not that they were inefficient. They were efficient. They were efficient at radiating people. Uh, State Department don't invade privacy of cleric on CIA, CIA kill list. And let's not forget this individual was. Um, educated in the United States, just like uh, the Patsies of the 9-11 attack. That's even if there was people inside that plane and it wasn't remotely controlled. Uh, so missile hit Pentagon. So more uh, illusions here over 9-11. A missile hit the Pentagon on 9-11 in a video. Go in there and check that out. Uh, most people already know that. Uh, Norway, uh, well, not most, but uh, some people who actually had their heads out of their asses do. Norway massacre special elite police unit concluded training for near identical scenario just minutes before Brevik's bomb attack. And it's weird. They actually took Brevik back to the scene. I thought that was kind of weird with cops. Indiana lawmakers lynching uh, references uh, rifle Tea Party. So a black Indiana congressman has used a lynching metaphor to describe Tea Party policies he said would turn minorities into second class. They also said that, that uh, the Tea Parties would like to see blacks hanging on a tree. That's in a quote. Uh, in play for youth engagement, White House opens petitioning website for ages 13 and up. So see what you think. So a little bit of brown shirt activity. First Circuit Court of Appeals rules that citizens can videotape police. Charges dropped for a woman who recorded the police. So uh, don't feel bad about doing it. Tibetan monk sentence in self uh, uh, immolation case. So another monk sets itself on fire, and these other monks uh, get 13 years. You like that? Cops confiscate Lakewood's lady arsenal motive pending. So they went and stole this girl's uh, veteran. Uh, all of her uh, guns and that. Punters uh, could pay tax to cover costs of clearing up mess caused by binge drinking. And Brave New World, new charges or no charges for New Mexico cop caught having sex on car. Second former officer charged in Moon Township prostitution ring. Then we have Australian citizens alleged PNG police raped her. Then we have mentally disabled man shot dead by police while playing with toy gun after 9-11 calls from terrified neighbors or slaves, whatever you want to call them. Actor Seagal sued over dog killing that's right, he killed a puppy, and uh, he's kind of promoting the police state, so I'm not really uh, supporting Mr. Seagal. Southern New Mexico Mayor Police Chief arrested on weapons charges. That's right, selling gun running. Kenneth Melson resigns as ATF Chief over fast and furious gun trafficking. Uh, and then we have this right from the Department of Justice, which uh, actually doesn't include anything about this individual, actually, uh, uh, not just lacking to do his job, failing to do his job, but he was actually doing something really wrong, like working uh, against... Uh, what he's supposed to be doing. So he, he's technically fired, but they just moved him around. They didn't mention it. Bullying law puts New Jersey schools on spot. So it says here that lunchline bullies in the East Hanover schools can be reported to police by classmates this fall through anonymous tips through Crime Stoppers hotline. And then we also have Nashville suburb officially ends water fluoridation. Yay, celebrate, but it's still going to be in there for years to come. Get flu shot or get fired, says hospitals. Then uh, Haiti genome study confirms UN troops did bring cholera, so it was a eugenics operation microchip implants uh, monitor tumor growth growth and the funny thing is that this microchip is going to emit RF frequencies radio frequencies and uh, so it's actually going to cause a tumor to uh, detect a tumor and <laughs> anti-cancer virus shows uh, progress so get a virus and you need to stop uh, cancer or you can just uh, have good nutrition take b17 laotrine new body liquefaction unit unveils in florida funeral and they say that it's going to be green well it's actually going to suck more energy uh, than cremation deer pill uh, curbs aggressive mating so a contraceptive vaccine that's eugenics for deer slaughter free stem cell meat sausage coming soon then dhs testing iris scanners at u.s border microsoft sued over iphone or phone tracking feature confirms it aims to own your online ID. Young mother shoots her uh, two children. Four-year-old Maddie Jackson has padded chest and bottom for Dolly Parton tribute. It's pretty gross. Check it out. Uganda woman pushed for divorce law, which is funny 
because I was talking about her, uh, with this with a friend that back in the day, uh, these arranged marriages actually worked out longer, a lot longer than now with the divorce rate is at record highs. Thank you.